Hi, it's Peggy Lou from Crazy for Retro. I'm in my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you the vintage items that we've displayed in the, the dining room area. I did do my kitchen in my first video, as you may have seen, hopefully. So this is my little kitchen. And I'd like to tell you first about a very large chrome set that we had custom made. We just accidentally ran across a place in downtown Minneapolis when we were driving by that said Kilroy's Classic Malt Shop Supply Company. So we wandered in there and couldn't believe our eyes. It was absolutely full of furniture and all the accessories you could ever want if you wanted to create a malt shop, either in your home or for restaurants, of course. And they said that they made tables, custom-made tables. So we decided that would be really fun to have one made. And at the time, unfortunately, maybe, maybe not, they didn't have what you call cracked ice. The only thing that we could decide on that was neutral is a marble effect. Um, so this is for Mica, and I'm glad that we did pick that because the red or yellow I don't know if there would have been a green, but here's the yellow. Actually, they, they got this yellow later, and we asked them to make us a couple Lazy Susans. Uh, they had never done that before, but they decided to make one for us in red that I used during the winter, and in yellow for the summer. So that is what you call cracked ice, which you probably are familiar with. And we just love them. They're very heavy. They decided after having made them for us that they liked them so well, they were going to start making them for their shop. So that was kind of cool. And all of this was back in maybe the year 2000. It's a long time ago that we've had this. Norm decided on such a big table. It's very heavy to move. He did not want it in two pieces. I wish that he had, but he didn't want anything getting down in cracks. Well, I cover it with a tablecloth all the time. We don't eat off the bare table. We have a tablecloth and placemats. Over here is my really fun, fun find from an antique shop in St. Paul, Minnesota. It is a fiber, not fiberglass, I mean for mica, again, uh, hutch. And it actually was homemade by someone very talented. And we were told that because the owner of the booth that we bought it from told us about it. It is kind of a cocoa brown. The color wasn't what I would have thought would work in our home because we all have, we have golden oak everywhere for trim. So that's why we chose gold walls and gold carpet. Anyways, I have such a fun time changing my vintage dishes for the different times of year. I'm getting a lot of reflection here, but just last year I found these old tulip glasses. They were even in the original box. I really had fun finding all of these milk glass baskets over quite a few years. I love collections. I just think it's very fun when you put similar things together so you have a little collection. So I usually just have those out for spring. 
they are such fun fun patterns I even have more of them because I I wasn't sure when I was finding them for only a couple dollars each in thrift stores often I didn't know which ones I would like put together up there but these work very well and in the hutch there's some pretty heavy pictures back there and vases I again I mentioned in my kitchen video that I just love the patterns on them I used to have a lot of kitcheny collectibles in this hutch that were you know a lot of different colors and I decided that the white milk glass would be quite nice especially when I have Pyrex that it goes with nicely down here I'm gonna have to get down excuse me, you know way down here to show you the latest thing that Norm just bought for me was this adorable coffee server or maybe it's considered a teapot but I think it's since it's tall with a long spout I would call that a coffee server with the rooster on it maybe I can get in closer here so you can see the cute pattern on it it's really got a cute pattern that is really fun it was like only $12 in a secondhand store really fun with an orange top so I've got a lot of the friendship Pyrex my brother gave me a lot of it he's given me a lot of refrigerator dishes too there's the Holt Howard teapot I mentioned in my my kitchen video when I showed you the mugs that matched this is only part of a set of four five let's see there's red cardinals um, a caramel colored one with another bird on it and a turquoise one and I have those colors downstairs. I just put out these three colors right now for spring. So let me get back up here off the floor. I took out some of my Easter eggs, some more of these darling hand painted ones. They are so colorful and so fun. And this compote I found in a thrift store it looks like uh, eggs I've got some that look more wintry with snowflake look on them some of them with grapes but this one is super fun for the eggs my brother just gave me this set of roosters too he has so many roosters so they're very springy I have a really pretty press glass pitcher over here that Norm picked out. He wanted that. It's quite beautiful. These three eggs are a little different. I have two owl ones. The other one is turquoise. And this one has that raised flower on both sides. And this one has a cute little gingham flower pattern. There's a retro, I don't know if they call that slag or not, vase. I've had that for a long time. This is a collection of little press glass, sometimes art glass. I have started quite a few years back. I've picked out different colors for different times a year. I put out a lot of green for Christmas and winter green ones. It's kind of fun that those are owls. And this one is, I guess, hard to find. Just got the Amberina one this um, past summer. And this must be, well, that's crackle glass. Very lime green. And more pressed glass. Love the hobnail. Appears 
some more. A couple crackle. I think they are so fun. This is quite an old shelf I found at a occasional shop in northern Minnesota. Every time I pick out something like that, I think it was like $14 for the black metal shelf. Norm says, where are you going to put that? And I a lot of times say, I don't know, but I'm going to find a place. I'm not going to pass up a retro shelf like that. It's so cute. These are some very retro roosters with the gold trim on them. I really love modern stylized birds. I have a big collection of large birds in different colors and they are so beautiful to me. They're, I love the stylized look. It is a little more modern. I'm trying to be a little more modern. Okay, I'm gonna back up now so you can see all of my milk glass plates that I've been collecting. Even the biggest one, huge, way over in the corner there by the hanging pot, that was, believe it or not, $3 in an antique store. I guess they just couldn't sell it. People just aren't into mail glass and it's fragile. The edges are quite thin, so I guess people just don't want to buy it. <laughs> but I sure was happy to find it. I already had started my mail glass plate wall. I saw this idea on Pinterest several years ago and I was hooked. These plates, you can find so many of them in thrift stores and there's so many of them I found were like a dollar something and of course they were the plainer ones. There's um, much older ones like this that are quite elaborate and they can end up being more money, of course. This is supposed to be Niagara Falls. So I have several with this design on it, and one of them is put away right now that is Valentine theme with a Cupid. This one is Easter theme. I ended up with two of those, couldn't pass them up. So cute. And then, of course, these are the ones that you find for a lot less money. Up here, I love this triangle one. And the heart ones, got some heart ones. Here's my owl one. It's funny that the picture on Pinterest actually did have some of these very unusual animals on them. Over here is the cat one. Seems kind of dark over here. It's not real sunny out today, unfortunately. This one I also love too. Really unusual. I got two of those. And then I continued over here on the sidewall by the patio door. Some of them you find have paintings on them. They're fun too. I went up and over our patio door with some bigger ones. The one in the middle is quite elaborate. So I only have one of those, but that's enough. Worked out great for over the, over the door. Now I'm going to go back over here because there's another one up here that's pretty elaborate. Very hard for me to reach up this high. It's patriotic with eagles and oh, American flag at the top there. There are different shades of milk glass. The newer milk glass seems to be whiter. The old ones tend to be kind of a little off-white. Now, this one, 
I got for a few dollars in a thrift store. I couldn't believe it. It is George Washington, of course, with wonderful stars on the side. This one I got for $5 in an antique shop in southern Minnesota. It's Thomas Jefferson, I believe. No, sorry, I gotta read the plate. It's Columbus. So you see these are holiday driven, I would assume, because of Columbus Day. This one I never, ever thought I would find. It's a shaggy dog and he's kind of spooky looking but he's so small. It's the tiniest little plate and I got him for $7.50 this summer in an antique store in St. Paul, Minnesota. Couldn't believe I'd find him because the Pinterest picture had that dog in it and I have seen it on the internet on eBay or Etsy and I didn't want to buy it that way. This is beautiful. It's called Reverse C. And it, first um, time I saw it on the internet, it said it was um, Fostoria. But then I saw it somewhere else, and I think they said it was Fenton. So I really don't know for sure, but it's a beautiful one. So that is my kitchen, I think. I mean, my dining area. I forgot to show you. Some more of my Pyrex down here. I've got to stoop down again. I put some real big ones down here. I have a lot of other colors and I normally put out some of the turquoise and uh, pink for Easter, but I am not going to change to a bunch of Easter stuff. Today is Good Friday, so I'm not entertaining and I'll just leave those. So we do very much enjoy looking out at our water garden. When we get more flowers growing out there, I will take you on a little tour. I'm sure you will enjoy it. We feed squirrels, silly us, but it's entertainment for us. And we feed the birds a lot too. I'm sure you probably noticed the crazy fence in the backyard. That's our neighbor's fence. And every year, poor guy's got to try to straighten it out again. The frost pushes, pushes it up and it starts falling over. If we get really windy days like yesterday was terrible. Terrible wind and snow. So I've noticed it's fallen a little bit more in the middle there. He spends his winters in Florida, he and his wife, and I can't blame him for that. Sounds wonderful to me. But when he gets back, I'm sure he's going to end up out there trying to keep the fence straight and lower it again. He's got dogs and the little one can get under the fence right now. So that's tough. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of my dining area today. And I hope that you are going to have a blessed Easter, even though many of us are not going to be celebrating. Down there in my hallway, I've got some owl things, bird things vintage and I'll be showing you around more of our house uh, the front entrance I have some of those beautiful California birds that I was talking about I will show you all of them in a tour and along with our living room our crazy retro living room so I hope you enjoyed this video and you will subscribe and come back to watch some more Thank you. Have a great day. Bye now.